Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I'm happy. I'm a Muslim, that's what makes me happy, and that's the truth. There are other people who say, Nose Billah, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, you are suffering from mythomania. This is a psychological disorder that a person mentions a lie and he believes it is the truth. Mythomaniac is a person who tells a lie and he believes that it is a fact. And a psychologist, he treats the person by giving him more facts. Suppose a person says that I am a king. The psychiatrist will not say that you are crazy. The psychiatrist will say, you are a king, where is the queen? So the mythomaniac will say, the queen has gone to a mother's place. Where is the minister? The minister has died. Where are your guards? The more you keep on posing facts, then he says, I think I'm not the king. And if you analyze the Quran, the Quran mentions about facts. Keep on giving facts and figures, facts, mentioning about historical things. So the Quran is a treatment for my thomaniac. It's not a book written by my thomaniac, knows Billah. Furthermore, there are some critics who say, and they believe in the religious illusion theory, saying that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he wrote the Quran from his knowledge, from his experience, from various events and surroundings, without knowing that he was actually the author of the Quran. Some say that Nauz Billah, God forbid, he was a crazy person. Now, no person who has an illusion or no person who's crazy can be so firm and accurate constantly for a period of 22 and a half years. The Quran wasn't revealed in one shot or in one day or at one moment. It was revealed over a period of 22 and a half years. No person who has an illusion or has a visionary can be so constant for a period of 22 and a half years. And there are various occasions. For example, in Surah Kahf, chapter number 18, verse number 22. When the people asked about the story of the people of the cave, or about Zulkarnain, he said, I will answer you tomorrow. But the Prophet could not give the answer tomorrow. He kept on postponing it for 15 days until a revelation came in Surah Kaaf, chapter number 18, verse number 23, 24, that, O oh, Prophet, never say, I will do tomorrow without adding, Inshallah, if Allah wills. Imagine for 15 days, the Prophet was in tension, he was sad, that why isn't the wahi coming? So then Allah sends the wahi, that do not say I will say tomorrow without saying Inshallah, that if Allah wills, if God wills. And if he wrote it from his mind, he would have immediately given the answer or given the answer next day. So because there was a delay, many people accepted Islam and they realized that this cannot be a handiwork of a human being. It has to be a revelation. And that was is included even today in the Quran. If a person who writes the Quran, why should he mention such a verse in the Quran? Indicating that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon Billah, was not crazy, and he had no illusion. There are another group of people who say the Prophet knows Billah was crazy. Then we prove him. How can he be crazy? Then they say, no, that he was a liar. And we prove he's not a liar. Then they say he was both. A person can either be crazy or a liar, but he can never be both. Because a crazy person, when you ask him a question, he immediately gives the reply whether logical or not. A liar will think and try and give an answer which is correct. So both are contradicting. And we know that the prophet was neither of the three, neither crazy, neither liar, neither both. So surely, with all these replies, we can surely realize that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was not the author of the Quran. We were so beautiful things by this man Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him He taught us to love and to care for each other That is the sunnah of the
the chosen one. Loving for 